Hi, I'm Damon Smith, Extension Field Crash Pathologist at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Brian Luck, Associate Professor in Biological Systems Engineering and Machinery Systems Extension Specialist at UW-Madison. So in today's episode of Bumper Crops, we're out here with uh, Dr. Luck actually looking at his uh, planter, research planter setup. And he's been doing quite a bit of work looking at closing wheels and doing some research in, in corn. And, and Dr. Luck, if you could tell us a little more about what you learned in your research on corn and closing wheels. Absolutely, yeah. So we did uh, some studies in 2017, 18, and 19. Um, the first year was closing wheels alone. 18 and 19 was closing wheels plus downforce. Um, and what we learned was basically that uh, aftermarket closing wheels in a dry year, what we would consider in Wisconsin a drier year, drier spring, um, actually got us 2% better emergence than the standard closing wheel that come on the planter and the John Deere type um, closing wheels. If you look at 2018 and 2019, um, those were both a little wetter years and the standard outperformed at a low down pressure, but if we have the aftermarket wheels on and we had too high of a down pressure on our planter in that wet soil, uh, the aftermarket closing wheels kind of covered up any mistakes that we made with that high down pressure and increased the emergence. So they didn't get the highest emergence, but they kind of saved us uh, in terms of that because the standard wheel with the high down pressure uh, had the worst emergence and it was down in the 80s. That's pretty 80%. cool. Yeah, so so if a person was going to retrofit a planter, let's say, what, what's um, probably, where do they want to spend the majority of their money on the closing wheels first and then the down pressure or the down pressure and closing wheels together, you know, kind of kind of map that out a little bit on where they probably want to put their investment first. Absolutely. That's a good question. So we can do down pressure with springs um, and you can do a pretty good job. So you don't necessarily have to invest in the hydraulic down pressure. That said, it does give you some benefits as far as giving you down pressure plus lifting the row units up. So if you do have a situation where the soil's just soft enough that any down pressure at all is too much, um, those hydraulic systems will allow you to lift it up and compensate for that. When planting, it's all seed to soil contact and getting the furrow closed. On the back side of that, when we look at the closing wheels, they, they do a nice job and we found no difference in aftermarket closing wheels. We didn't find a winner basically. So they all do the little bit of tillage over the seed that allows for easier emergence and that's a good thing. Um, the other thing I would say is you can look at half a planter, right? Have a standard on one side mm -hmm. and an aftermarket on the other and just test a few to see which perform better in your soil. Yeah, I've seen quite a few planters around lately where, you know, guys are running, you know, different orientations just to check things out. So do your own research on your own A farm. little bit, yeah, yeah, and pay attention to how you set it up too. If you set them all on one side, the aftermarket's on one side and the standard's on the other, your planter will pull crooked. So make sure you get it balanced. <laughs> Good piece of advice there. Well, if you'd like to learn more about uh, closing wheels and closing wheels research, I'm sure you have a website that you could go check that out. Yep, wimachineryextension.bse.wis.edu. All right, well, we appreciate it. And uh, feel free to contact your local extension agent if you have further questions after that.